Spencer getting into the Christmas spirit. Yes, we're at Kentwell Hall in Suffolk and we're going to take you all the way back to 1869. And we're going to be meeting some rather Dickensian characters. But first, more news from your part of the region. Hard to imagine now, but at the beginning of the 19th century, Christmas was hardly celebrated at all, and most businesses didn't consider it to be a holiday. All that changed, of course, when Victoria became queen. It wasn't long before we had Christmas trees, slayed probably, turkeys and greeting cards. Let's find out more from Mike and Alex. Hello. Hey, how do we look? Fantastic. We're at Kentwell Hall. Always wanted to be in a Dickens movie. Bit more Harry Seacombe than Brad Pitt, if truth be told. But uh, now, what are you? Well, I'm a nursemaid, and um, I have this awful feeling that I'm rather lower down the pecking order than you, Mike. Yeah, I I'm the gentleman of the house. Now, we're going to have a, a good Victorian carol in a wee short while. But first, let's take you back 140 years. The year is 1869. Queen Victoria has been on the throne for 31 years and the Starkey Bents family is getting ready for Christmas. In the kitchens it's all go. Some of the visiting children are making gingerbread men, not a microwave or an espresso machine in sight. In the dining room the family are sitting down for lunch and Janet and Paul from Billericay are entering into the spirit of a Victorian Christmas. We had a chat with the family there, I noticed. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They're quite welcoming. They, you know, they. Uh, ex she was explaining that uh, what she was eating, and you know. And they're only pretending, you know. I know, I know. But isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? <laughs> The Christmas we know today owes much to the Victorians. Prince Albert introduced the Christmas tree to this country. And where would a Victorian Christmas be without Charles Dickens and a Christmas carol? It is really good to have the snow because the house looks so stunning in, in, in the snow, and particularly when the sun comes out, and that's been lovely. And last year we were blessed with snow as well. But obviously it's meant, this year being so harsh, that quite a few of our visitors haven't been able to get here. Father Christmas is here too. Annabelle and Amelia from Boxford in Suffolk are hoping for Nintendo games consoles. Being a Victorian, Father Christmas isn't too sure what they are, but promises to do his best on Christmas Eve, as always. We're in the Grand Hall at Kentwell. Isn't it magnificent? Of course, this is a, a Tudor building, but it scrubs up very nicely as Victorian. Here's the captain. Um, how many you got for Christmas, Captain? Family party, about 20. Managed to get out for some shooting last week until the snows came down. Hoping to get out again tomorrow. All right, some top acting there. Uh, but you were a real person. Edward Starkey Bents was a real person, and Kentwell Hall was in the hands of the Starkey Bents family for quite a long time, till way beyond the Second World War, uh, until the present owners acquired it in 1971. Oh, great stuff. All right, have a, have a great uh, captain, uh, a good Christmas captain. Uh, right words in the wrong order. We're going to have a carol now, and it's Good King Wenceslas. Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen. When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even, brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel. When a poor man came in sight, gathering winter fuel. We'd love more, but that's all we've got time for. But didn't they do well? High time we found out what the weather is doing. In there is Alex. Alex! <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Well, I'm here by this cosy log fire. I'm with uh, Mrs. Starkey Bents and her eldest daughter, Miss Isabella. This is where the ladies would have come to the parlour here after dinner. Well, it's very cosy in here with this log fire going. Outside the weather, it's a different story. Another cold night, I'm afraid, on the way. If we start with tonight's chart, you'll see there's one or two wintry showers affecting mainly parts of Norfolk, Suffolk, just edging down into Essex. 
The west staying mainly dry, but just the chance of an odd flurry of snow. If we bring up the temperatures for tonight, at their lowest, minus 3 degrees Celsius, just 27 degrees in Fahrenheit. Now, the winds are coming from a northeasterly direction. During the night, they're going to pick up, so we're in for a bit more of a windy day for tomorrow. If I show you the pressure chart, you'll see the isobars on the chart closely packed together, showing just how those winds have started to pick up. So it's going to make things feel bitterly cold. We start with tomorrow morning's chart. You'll see still we have a chance of one or two snow showers becoming wintry in places, affecting mainly the east parts of Norfolk, Suffolk, just pushing down into Essex. If we look at temperatures for tomorrow, 3 degrees Celsius at best, that's 37 degrees Fahrenheit, but those values are academic. With that brisk northeasterly wind, it's going to feel bitterly cold. And we look ahead to the afternoon's chart, you'll see generally drier the further west you are, still the chance of one or two wintry showers. Now, looking ahead to the Christmas weekend, here's the pressure chart. You'll see high pressure dominates. That's going to keep us fine and dry. The trade-off is light winds and clear skies mean some sharp frosts overnight. So if there's any chance of a white Christmas, it's North Norfolk that could see the odd snow shower. Um, but it is a mainly dry story as we move through to Christmas Eve and into Christmas Day. Now, for Monday and into Tuesday, it's a bit of... Uh, 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 there's, there's a bit of a fight between high pressure and low pressure. If the high pressure winds were in for some severe frosts, if the low pressure winds, we could get some sleet and snow Sunday night into Monday. And that's the weather forecast. I'm joined now by Mike. The last Hello. time you were here was on a school trip. Yes, I was here ten, when age 10 with my primary school. I remember it vividly. So uh, it's wonderful and, to be back. And good to be back. Oh, it's lovely to be back. Yeah, yes. any chance you could do something about the fire while you're in? <laughs> yeah, we need to stick that fire. It's getting Get cold. Get us a drink in, maybe. <laughs> back to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Quick, show us your Victorian shoes, Alex. Come on. Hold up. No, you don't. Trainers. <laughs> Trainers. <laughs> We're going to finish tonight with some music from Jackie Dankworth. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.